Steve McQueen, known as the King of Cool, wasn't just an iconic actor, but also a man with an insatiable appetite for thrill and danger. From a childhood marked by hardship to an adult life filled with risky adventures and brushes with death, McQueen's journey is the stuff of legend. His performances on screen immortalized him, but his real life often mirrored the high-stakes drama of his movies. Here's a deep dive into the perilous life of Steve McQueen and how he escaped death time and again. A rough start, early life, and the desire for danger. Steve McQueen was no stranger to hardship from a young age. Growing up with an abusive stepfather who once threw him down a flight of stairs, McQueen learned to fend for himself early. His rebellious nature led him into risky situations even before his fame. As a young man, he worked as a getaway driver and sold illegal firearms, living on the edge and hinting at his future appetite for danger. As he later told his first wife, I'm gonna die young, so I gotta take a piece out of life. And he lived that mantra. 1947, a Marine hero. At 17, McQueen joined the US Marines, where his rebellious streak continued. Despite being promoted to private first class, he was demoted seven times due to infractions, including a two-week escapade with a woman. But his time in the Marines also gave him his first near-death experience. In the Arctic, McQueen was aboard a tank transport ship that hit a sandbank, causing chaos as crew members were trapped in tanks submerged in icy waters. McQueen survived and heroically saved five other men, earning him an honorable discharge in 1950. Late 1950s, Hurricane on Two Wheels. In the late 1950s, with his acting career taking off after the blob, McQueen went on a wild motorcycle trip through Cuba with friends, right through Hurricane Audrey. This adventure saw him outrunning both the storm and local authorities. After being jailed for reckless riding, McQueen had to beg his wife for bail money. She refused, but he charmed his way out of jail by sharing a meal with the guard. This escapade was a hint of what was to come as McQueen continued his pattern of risk and recklessness. Early 1960s, snow racing gone wrong. By the 1960s, McQueen's passion for racing cars and motorcycles had taken root. In one early competition, a snow race in California's High Sierra, McQueen crashed into a pine tree, taking a branch to the face. Though bleeding and shaken, he jumped back on his bike and finished the race. Later, McQueen admitted that he didn't want to waste any time taking off his gloves to check for injuries, epitomizing his no-fear attitude toward racing. Peyote, motorcycles, and the desert, a dangerous mix. Another near-fatal incident occurred in the deserts near Palm Springs, where McQueen frequently rode motorcycles and practiced shooting. One night after taking peyote, he rode off into the desert, dangerously intoxicated and pushing his bike to the limit. With little regard for his own safety, McQueen crashed repeatedly, emerging with scrapes, cactus injuries, and sand lodged in every part of his body. This encounter with death, like many others, barely slowed him down. 1962, a narrow escape in a Mexican brothel. While filming The Magnificent Seven, McQueen bonded with co-star Robert Vaughn. Together, they ventured into a Mexican brothel on Good Friday, where, fueled by countless margaritas, they racked up a substantial tab. When it came time to pay, McQueen revealed he'd brought no money. The two barely escaped the bar's revenue protectors by scaling walls and dodging guards, making it out by the skin of their teeth. This incident, humorous in hindsight, showcased McQueen's perpetual gamble with fate. Hey, Golden Throwback fans, ready to take a trip down memory lane? Perfect Fifth has you covered with graphic tees that celebrate the music you love. Check out this cassette-era design, a tribute to those mixtape days, or vibe with melting vinyl sunset, bringing back the golden age of records. And for the Patriots, Stars, Stripes, and Strings, combines music and Americana in a style all your own. Get it for yourself or as the perfect gift for the music lover in your life. And right now, get 30% off your order with code THROWBACK30 at checkout. 
Click the link in the description to shop now. Perfect fifth. Wear the rhythm. Relive the moments. 1963. Stunt mishaps in The Great Escape and Le Mans. Though McQueen wanted to perform his own stunts, especially the famous motorcycle jump in The Great Escape, insurance wouldn't allow it. Stuntman Bud Ekins took his place for the risky 60-foot jump. McQueen's desire to push limits continued in his passion project, Le Mans, where real racing and car crashes blurred the line between acting and reality. One stunt driver lost a leg, and McQueen came away from the project shaken. He later reflected, if you foul up in a car often enough, it's audio city. 1969. A chilling brush with the Manson family. In one of his closest calls, McQueen narrowly escaped the infamous Manson family murders. He had planned to visit friends Sharon Tate and Jay Sebring at Roman Polanski's house the night of the tragic Tate murders, but was sidetracked by a chance encounter with a woman. McQueen later learned that his name had appeared on Manson's so-called death list. This near miss profoundly affected him, prompting him to carry a concealed weapon at all times. 1970. A dangerous determination to race. Despite the Manson scare, McQueen's risky pursuits didn't stop. During a motorcycle race at Lake Elsinore, he crashed and broke his left leg. Just two weeks later, cast and all, McQueen was back in action at the 12 hours of Sebring Endurance Race. Mid-race, the cast cracked, and though he felt the pain, McQueen powered through. He often said that enduring pain only intensified his determination, a mentality that bordered on invincibility. 1980, the final battle with cancer. In 1979, McQueen was diagnosed with malignant pleural mesothelioma, a rare cancer caused by asbestos exposure. Tragically, asbestos had been a near constant in his life. He'd been exposed while working on docks, repairing ship insulation in the Marines, and even while wearing asbestos-lined racing suits. Seeking unconventional treatments in Mexico, McQueen underwent risky procedures, including injections of animal cells and coffee enemas. On November 7, 1980, in a clinic under an assumed name, Steve McQueen passed away, his prediction of an early death fulfilled. A Legacy Built on Defiance Steve McQueen's legacy is more than his films, it's in the way he lived, a relentless, defiant life that pushed limits and defied the odds. McQueen's desire to embrace every thrill, every danger, and every moment of life made him more than an actor. He became an icon of adventure, courage, and sheer grit. Even in death, his legend lives on, immortalized by the life he led and the risks he took. The King of Cool might be gone, but the thrill of his story will never fade. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite Steve McQueen stunt sequence from his movies? Let us know in the comments.